Today we're going to continue creating a quiz in Tinker. The skills that we'll be revising are asking a question using the ask blocks and using the if then else to give feedback. After last week's lesson you should have three things ready to start. One, a stage with instructions. Two, a character who asks a question. And three, a second character who we will be working with today. A quick way to create the code for our second character is to drag the code from the first character to the second character. When the second character is white, let go of the code, and now our character has some code. Now that your character has some code, you can edit the code to make a new question. Your second question might be, who purchased Wollstone House in 1860? Don't forget to edit the answer and the feedback so that it matches your new question. It's important to test our code so that we can see that it is working in the way that we expect. If we answer Matthew Goggs, we should get a message telling us that we are right. What will happen if the user makes a spelling mistake or forgets to use a capital letter when they answer the question? If the person makes a spelling mistake or doesn't use a capital letter, they'll get a message saying that their answer is incorrect. This could be really frustrating for your players. This is also going to be a problem if there's another way that you could say the answer in using different words, such as Mr. Goggs. Would this be correct or incorrect? What we need is a different way of asking a question so that we don't have this problem. Let's look closely at the sensing blocks. As well as the regular ask block, we also have a second block that says ask with choices. We're going to swap out our ask block with the ask with choices block and then change the words in there so that it's out of question. Who purchased Wollstone House in 1860? Go ahead and do this now. To add the choices, we'll replace the OK with our correct answer. To add more choices, we'll use the plus button at the end of the Ask With Choices block. I'll make the other choices, the Grindle family, and Dr. Stephen Simpson. Now we can reattach the if block and play the program to test the code. Now that you know how to use both the Ask block and the Ask with Choices block, you can add another character and ask your own question.